Black Lightning, Episode 10, Sins of the Father, Book of Redemption. So this episode I thought was pretty interesting. They seem to be, you know, they, they're just barely touching on the lot lot thing, so I kind of wanted to pick up on that first because they're showing, like, little bits and pieces, you know, him making this big deal where he, um, he's getting, like, pretty much every other type of drug that he can sell because it's, like, everybody's on green light. Um, Tobias is out of there for a minute because it's like, crap, Black Lightning was on me. So he's gone for a while. Lala is in there and everybody's basically this was the episode where it's like, OK, now people are finally starting to question him because the dude's sitting there. I think it was like reading a book. If I remember, he's just reading a book and then like talking to his dad cousin. So it's like you're talking to yourself. You want us to sell, you know, you want us to sell coke. Everybody's trying to get, you know, green light. So he's going through this process of building himself back up, taking over. Uh, the 100 and everything and everybody talking about like you know we thought you were dead and this and that so it was interesting you know the little bit that they're kind of playing on and he you know he, the one guy like challenges him and he's like you know pull the trigger and everything of course he doesn't get killed and it was kind of interesting because he didn't kill the guy because i was like you know everything that he's doing like basically if i remember it was like in the beginning of the episode because i had to watch this uh, split up it was like he killed somebody already and then the second person he actually let live and i was like that's interesting so he's like, if I ever see you, you in town again, I'll give you my bare hands. And he let the guy live. And I was like, hmm, that's not what I was expecting. But still super crazy. Uh, he didn't know the gun, you know, wouldn't go off. But of course it won't because he's, you know, he's the face of the villains right now. We'd have nobody. But very interesting. You know, they're like just barely picking up on it. And I'm very curious how this is going to play out with, you know, of course we have our superheroes trying to take down uh, Green Light. So I think once that happens, we'll see kind of the normal drug world kind of build itself back up and of course he'll be the first one there because it's like you know you guys got four weeks to sell this product it's like everyone who wants a drug is gonna get a drug it might not be the drug they want but they'll want something to chase it like that's the whole point of drugs like chasing the dragon so it's very interesting you know they're like just kind of touching on it building it up and i am curious what's gonna happen because they said it i think two or three times and i'm just like what is gonna happen when tobias church comes back and it's like he's alive like he choked him with his bare hands and somebody brought him back to life and it probably was lady eve uh if you go off of like the whole thing with his cousin and um the mother uh lashonda if i remember right um the way you know them turning into dust and all that and it's like that could be it that you know it's just a visual thing anyway so you don't really know but it's like that could be a part of it like i'm just not 100 percent sure so i am curious everyone keeps saying it's like what is tobias gonna do it's like i choked this guy to death with my bare hands and yet here he stands so what is going to happen to him that should be interesting to find out so i thought that was cool you know they're still kind of building that up to whatever crazy ending is going to be with the resurrected guy who's seeing the ghosts of the people that he's killed at least in the series i'm sure he's killed like quite a few people um but that, that should be something so i'm looking forward to that of course on the hero side of things it was pretty cool we got to see um you know, like a lot of the, you know, the family stuff kind of carrying over from the last couple episodes and even the stuff, you know, with Gammy and Jefferson. And then, you know, the whole, all the family elements extended and uh, immediate. I thought that was cool. They touch on the fact that, um, you know, Anissa, like in the beginning of the episode when she goes to find all the kids, I thought it was cool because she was going in, she was, of course, about to use her power, just like blow the thing open and then she stopped. I thought she was going to do like the finger thing and like crack the glass, which I thought would have been really sweet, but she just took off and it was like, I don't know what's going to happen at all here. So I should you know, probably go get my dad, let him know that this is real. This is probably something we should check out. And of course, because she broke in, it was too late when they went back and they got attacked, which was also a cool scene. And, you know, like my favorite part had to be when the guy tried to charge her and she just stood there and was like, and he just basically tackled a statue and just collapsed. And I was like, that was super funny. So I love that. But they go through this process and that kind of leads Jefferson back to uh, talking with Gamby and then figuring out this whole situation um unfortunately that comes like way way after <laughs> you know gamby gets like the crap beat out of him because it was like you know jefferson realized everything that was happening and was like okay still gonna kind of do things on my own figure this process out and then you know he realizes that gamby got the crap beat out of him and then they kind of bond and it's like you know i know you're sorry and it's cool and they you know everything's fine that's how thing arguments always kind of play out it's like we're mad somebody almost dies probably not that big of a deal it's a huge deal because you know obviously his dad died he got superpowers weird you know it's convoluted compared to normal life but still it always happens the same way and i like that idea I, I like what they did with it and just that concept of them going through the process them figuring out what was going on with gamby because of 
him breaking in and then you know suddenly black lightning shows up and then them realizing that pierce is black lightning so i was like well that's definitely cool i don't know if they're gonna make the connection to anissa just yet but i was like well that's definitely sweet as well and then um we have the stuff with jennifer where we find out that she is um like how black lightning basically can absorb lightning she produces lightning so i was like well that's cool like she's even more powerful than her dad is she can just off put you know lightning herself so i was like well that's definitely sweet and it comes off like actual uh based on what they showed in this episode especially it comes off as like actual uh yellow lightning so I was like well that's definitely cool we'll see how that ends up playing out how she develops her powers and eventually i would assume at least eventually does change into like her superhero uh persona so i'm looking forward to that but the ending i thought was great where not only do they realize like okay he's black lightning but we find out who the current uh scouter is and it's actually uh the vice principal and i was like okay because it totally made sense by the time it got to the end i was like oh that's why they showed like that one scene of her where she was like arguing with pierce and i was like okay well that's gonna come back in some way and it didn't and she wasn't in there at all and then she finally showed up at the end which i thought was weird that they decided to even use a callback i was like i i'm gonna remember her character like she doesn't hasn't done much but it's like i didn't need a callback especially when it didn't connect to like oh she's actually one of the bad guys but I was like, okay, they just wanted to be like, hey, remember this person and how she's connected, vice principal. So we find out that she is the current scout, which I thought was definitely interesting. And of course, it's revealed to her like Black Lightning is, you know, Pierce, like it's him, like this guy you've been working with forever. He's actually Black Lightning, of course, been retired, but now he's back in the game. So we kind of need to handle this. So I'm looking forward to just how in the world that's supposed to play out. I think things might start to get a little obvious it could just be the simple fact like of course i'm black lightning so i'm hiding my family but i feel like they might start making some connections based on the fact that his family is no longer at school you know his, his daughters aren't there um his wife isn't at work so it's gonna start to make you know some a couple of connections i think will start to be made and it's like oh this person who always works with black lightning she's about the same height and same color as his daughter i feel like these connections might finally start to get made i don't know they might do the normal superhero thing where it's like I still just can't put my finger on it even though they at least with her like her hairstyle changes i mean that he just walks out and he looks exactly the same just he's got lightning bolts on um but i don't know if they'll start making those connections i i hope so just because it's like it just makes sense it's just smart so as dangerous as it would get i don't know the character is gonna die as tv so i would hope that they figure that stuff out like oh his daughter has powers as well maybe his other daughter does <clears throat> but i'm looking forward to how that's supposed to play out like now it's this weird it's not even a cat and mouse game because he doesn't know who the scouter is but now she knows so i'm looking forward to how that's gonna end up playing out i don't yeah i mean obviously he's got superpowers i don't think they're gonna reveal that she has powers as well i think that'll be cool but i don't think we're gonna get to like super villains well technically tobias is a super villain with the non-aging super strength stuff but actually going up against black lightning like that sort of deal like just hand to hand fighting somebody i don't think we're gonna get that for maybe two seasons they might not do that to like season three or something when they like fully flesh out the whole family element of like you know you have three super powered people and then eventually they start to bring in like actual super villains and stuff like that but I love what they did with this episode. Uh, they brought back the two bits guy. I didn't realize that was him in the beginning because I that's who they should have done a recap for because I totally forgot who that was when they first showed him. I thought he was just a random dude. And then you know, he goes to Pierce and that's how he gets the info. Uh, we find out that they like doubled the bounty on Black Lightning's head, which was a funny scene where the woman was just, like just pushing stuff out the window, just missing. It's like just trying to knock him out and get a bunch of money. But, you know, we get him uh, making a return and we find out, you know, that little bit of information. But... I'm definitely looking forward to where they're headed because we have, you know, the cops still think it's him. Of course, the, I want to say it was like ASH or whatever, you know, the company Gamby used to work for. They're back in full force. They know that he's Black Lightning now. So I think things are really about to start ramping up, which I'm super excited for. Like, I, I think the show's already been fairly good with pacing. I mentioned that before. Like, they kind of just go through stuff super fast. Where it's like, oh, this is going to take two or three episodes and it's like nope it's one episode maybe an episode and a half or maybe even half an episode depending on certain storylines but they tend to like shoot through stuff really fast for this first season which i hope they kind of keep up because they may have just done that where it's like let's just keep going because it's the first season we got to make sure it's great so i hope that's how the series just stays because that's just always more entertaining it's like let's just keep on going like just figure out a couple stories for one season and just if it's done then it's done and then we move on to the next so i hope that's how it uh plays out for you know basically the whole series but 
it should be pretty entertaining going into this next episode. So I'm certainly looking forward to it. Um, like I said, I think my main thing right now is just how are they going to like slowly go about taking down Black Lightning now that they know exactly who he is? Are they going to wait to get more info? Because, of course, you know, we have Anissa as Thunder. So it's like, well, let's wait and see if he's connected to her through family or if he, that's just a friend or maybe this person has kids. You know, they might have a bunch of ideas. So I feel like they'll wait. And plus, if they go through the big fight, that obviously would be like, well, what do you do for the season finale if you go through like the main thing where the good guys beat all the villains so of course they have to wait but definitely looking forward to that i'm excited for when uh tobias comes back that's probably the second thing i'm really looking forward to because it's like what's gonna happen there i do want to know so looking forward to a couple of things with this but definitely enjoyed this episode looking forward to what they end up doing with jennifer and her seemingly being even more powerful uh than her dad so i'm looking forward to that but of course we'd love to know what you guys thought about this episode so please comment below let me know your favorite parts about it least favorite parts about it and i would love to know your predictions on how in the world things are about to play out now that the main bad guys do know pierce is black lightning so one of your predictions on how that's going to play out how they're going to you know start utilizing the vice principal character and what she's going to do um your predictions on where the kids might be and what they might actually end up doing with those kids because we didn't see like any um anything like kind of develop as far as what they're using those kids for we've seen that they've grown but not much is really happening we find out that they are you know kidnapping more kids that are developing powers because of green light but it's like all right well you still have the kids from 30 years ago now you're making new kids what's to come of that like it's been 30 years and they haven't like made a super powered army or anything so it's like well what the heck are they waiting for? Are they like trying to, you know, take powers? I think I mentioned that before, like take powers and put them into one person or, you know, start selling them or something. So I would love to know your predictions on like what in the world they're doing with that. And like I said, definitely want to know what you guys think they're going to do with the vice principal character. And of course, just want to know what you guys thought about this episode in general. So please comment below. Let me know. And thanks for watching.